Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. As you can see, tonight should be a good night for imaging. The only problem is the moon is nearly full. I think we're about 94% tonight. But since I have switched over to monochrome, I do want to do some testing. So we've already got SGP loaded up and it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon so I was just doing some prep work uh, quite a few targets I'll get to that in a minute I have all of the narrowband data already for H alpha S2 O3 and hydrogen beta so I just want to take one subframe of each just to see the impact of the moon if any I know with my DSLR I was unable to image during the full moon so I'm going to be curious to see just what uh, what the moon will have any in. I want to see if the moon's going to have any impact uh, using the narrow band filters. If uh, all goes well in the first looks like 35 minutes, the so first half hour. Uh, I'll let all of these complete, and while it's working on the second target, I'll do a quick evaluation to on on these subs and see what uh, you know compare it against uh, the ones I've already taken, and see if there's any detriment to imaging during the full moon or near full moon, and uh, yeah, if so. If there is a detriment, then I'll stop the sequence and, you know, I'll wait. If there isn't any, then I will just let the sequence complete and we'll be good to go. The reason I have so many uh, targets tonight is I'm having some trouble after the meridian flip. Um, RA likes to move in the wrong direction takes me off target which means after the meridian flips done if I'm napping then it gets uh, you know I lose the imaging so I actually have this set uh, to do my test frames uh, work on the cigar galaxy briefly until the whirlpool galaxy is up I want to try to get more data on that I've already started collecting data on that uh, that will run till the meridian flip uh, time, at which point it'll switch over to the spindle galaxy. That will run until its meridian flip time, and then we'll finish out the night with the fireworks galaxy. Uh, how do I determine the meridian flip time? That's pretty easy. We just go into our target, and if you see here, we have the planning tools. And we have 3.30. Tonight is daylight savings time. So if we go into the planning tools, you'll notice that the transit, the meridian transit is at 2.36. We will have to add an hour. And that will mean uh, 3.30. So that's what time our meridian flip is going to be. If we look here. It's at the zenith at 236. There is no 236 actually tonight because we're going from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock here on the East Coast. So that's how I determine when my meridian flip is going to be. And you can also see the, mer the moon tonight is 94%. So handy dandy little uh, tool inside SGP and that's pretty much it as you can see I'll be rotating my camera and all that good stuff so uh, I will walk through the frame and focus in another video uh, yeah so I'm going to uh, close this out and we will be back later tonight after the images are done and we'll evaluate that to see if the moon made any impact. 
Hopefully not. I've read that's one of the reasons why you go narrow band is so that you can image during the full moon. But I've also read that you need to be 90 degrees pointed 90 degrees or perpendicular or more uh, away from the, the moon. So we will see how that goes. And if you can hear the background noise, uh, grandbabies are here. So I'm going to stop recording now and we'll be back later tonight after they go to bed and my imaging session has started. So with that, I will see you back in a few. All right, well, it's 12.30 in the morning, and finally getting to this thing. Uh, like I said, got some family in there, and I was playing with the grandkids earlier. And then a little bit of relaxing while the this was running earlier, so finally getting to it. Everybody settled in. As you can see... We're moving right along on M51. Just completed this set of S2 images. So let's uh, take a look at um, the data I did on M81 and compare that to uh, what I captured the other day and see if the moon glow is impacting this mono data. So let me get over to PixInsight. All right. All right. Let's get the bleak module loaded up. I've already moved everything over. Span that out just a little bit. Now, let's see. Not set, not set, not set. Okay, so the gain is not set on those, but they are the last ones. So let's just step through. Ooh, that does wash it out, doesn't it? All right, so H alpha is definitely toast. H beta is still washed out, and that got even worse. O3. Yep, yeah. just too much moon glow. All right, well, now I know. It's kind of disappointing, actually, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I was kind of hoping to be able to image uh, during, during the full moon, but that's okay. I can do some other stuff, like processing and other things. So, uh, we'll just leave it like it is, and uh, I guess I'll stop that sequence for tonight, because, frankly, it's just not going to work for me. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. But that's all right. It's a journey. It's a learning experience. And as always, you can't believe everything you read. Okay, so while I was editing the video, I realized I had not mentioned that I was stepping through the previous data when the moon was uh, non-existent and the uh, no gain frames, uh, we'll call them, were the frames from tonight where I uh, 
or the moon was up. So as you can see, no moonlight, decent frames, moonlight, not so good frames. Uh, they were washed out. So to that end, um, yeah, can't go with the same exposure length and settings in the moonlight. Uh, that does not mean that I can't do shorter exposure targets like uh, globular clusters, things of that nature. So for all intents and purposes, galaxies, nebula, I'll refrain from dealing with the moon and uh, during the moon phases that are brighter I will focus on clusters and targets like that where I can go with the shorter exposures and we'll be happy if anybody has any suggestions in uh, how to image during the moon on targets that require longer exposures, then uh, by all means, leave them in the comments. I'd be great to uh, read them and learn. So please, please leave those comments. So with that, I'm going to get back to uh, quitting this little voiceover section here and get back to the regular video. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Um, Hope you got some benefit out of, out of this. If you have any suggestions on how I can image during the full moon and actually get some usable data, uh, I'd love to hear them in the comments. So uh, please stick around for the outro. As always, clear skies and have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, Clear Skies. Remember, dude.